guys it's been a whirlwind i'm actually in baton rouge right now because my friend lives out here and we're linking up to go to mardi gras i'm so excited i cannot wait like i honestly don't even know what to expect i'm just expecting the unexpected at this point but she's pulling up right now so we're gonna road trip it down to new orleans we have our hotel i am so unprepared though like i don't know what to wear i brought so much like It looks small, but really, this should have just been a carry-on, and I brought a whole medium suitcase. But we're just ready for anything, so let's go. She's here! Kidding, I'm here. <laughs> we're road tripping! Yes, yeah. we are. New Orleans, well, Blue Store Chicken in the New Orleans. Blue Store, whatever that place is, and then New Orleans. <laughs> First stop, fried food. Yes. We got our fried food. Straight chicken wings. Look at that. In a bag. America, we love it. I had to put my hair up, but this is 10 out of 10. Like the coating, it's seasoned, first of all. And it's just melting in my mouth, like crisp to a tea. Literally right off of Canal Street. And they're the parade right here. <laughs> Literally right here. No, honestly, solely it was. We went downstairs to get our bags. We actually got them to bring it up, thankfully, after an hour. Yeah, it took a minute. After an hour. <laughs> but when we went downstairs, people were in our hotel dressed mm -hmm. up for the parade. Mm -hmm. What are they like going they're on? They're the on the floats. They're on the floats. Yeah. So oh they're gonna God. be on the floats. Cause like they drive like it's not like a float where you think like it's like a short little like low degree. Like they're in Mack trucks sometimes and like they're driving and they're oh like double deckered buses and stuff oh. and they throw things out. So it's gonna be cool. I'm literally not even prepared. We're so excited though. We're about to hit the streets. Yes. <laughs> so we'll catch you guys on the road. Guys, oh my gosh. I did not even vlog on the street because I didn't think that much was gonna happen. But these hand grenades, look at the hand grenades. Look at the hand grenades. The jolliness of the hand grenades. We got so turned off a hand grenade that we bought first licks. We had to buy licks to put in the hand grenade to look like we kept buying hand grenades. Because it's 10 bucks per Literally refill. 10 bucks per refill. So we got this tequila and a bunch of like some New Orleans, some New Orleans juice. It's it's by, it says New Orleans. Oh, so these are like local. So that one is pineapple. And this one is fruit punch because you can't go wrong with the classic and then we have gatorade for days just in case mm -hmm. don't mind the room it's a mess but we're thinking we're just gonna refill our cups so like we're for the culture um but we're not trying to spend the money because we're turnt right now okay and then look at the mask we got you see please model let me let me vote okay <laughs> <laughs> no it's so cute <laughs> No, it's so cute. Like, and the guy gave it to us for half off. I'm just so giddy. Like, I'm as you can tell, I'm giddy. Oh yeah, we got our first free bee. No titties needed. No titties. <laughs> Actually, it's a whole thing. Jen was telling me it's a whole thing to flash your titties, and they were asking. I'm like, mm -mm, it's not happening. Like holding it, like dangling it, like, no, no, like we're dogs. Like we're dogs. <laughs> but no, not for the dogs. So we got our beads. So now we're just gonna go get ready and then go to dinner and then hit the street it's actually it's not that hot outside but once you start drinking it's hot like i have a gloss on me because i'm so hot so i'm gonna change into a dress hopefully i can vlog the street because i forgot before but so much has happened oh my gosh and it's only day one <laughs> Dinner ready. First dinner of the trip. Nothing else is planned after this, so I'm just gonna wear a dress and hit the town. We're back. Okay, look at Jen. Show them your 
Monday Night Football. In time for the season? Of course. I mean, Super Bowl? <laughs> Super Bowl. So, anyhow, we got to swap a guy out. Literally. I went like this. I was like, God. And I missed it. And this man took it. And I just, like, was phased. I was like, whatever, whatever. It's not mine. But then he gave it to us. Like, so, so nice. So sweet. So now we're back at the room. We're just going to make drinks and then go back out. I need to switch out this jean jacket for my bomber because I feel like cold on my chest, but not my legs. Like the weather is very much pee. So keep the good times rolling. Woo! It's Mardi Gras. Uh, 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 uh. Mardi party. It's day two. <laughs> we survived the first day. I actually crashed out at like 10 p.m. I think. You were out, yeah, I think about 11.30 you were like... Oh, 11.30. <laughs> I crashed out. Like, we went to the parade. And after that, came back to the room. I think it was once we ate the leftovers. Mm -hmm. That really did me off. Like, I don't remember anything else. But we're here. We're going to go get breakfast at Jen. What's the place? Uh, Daisy Dukes. Daisy Dukes, and they have, you said shrimp and grits? Yeah, shrimp and grits, they have gumbo, they got gator, oh, they got it all. Gator! Oh my god, real southern girlies. So, about to head out now, show you guys the food, and then hopefully we finish getting all the stuff that we want for our Mardi Gras fits, because the big parade yeah. is tomorrow, or like the big celebration. The big parade's Tuesday, so we won't be here, but the big celebration's tomorrow, so gotta like pee. Fit check, though. I got this skirt from Zara and Top H&M. I put this sweater on because it's cold, and then... Little cute little shoes. Oh, and the hair bow. Come in, girly. to the hotel just to get our stuff but the parade has already started so we're back at the hotel and this is the bra that i caught it fits but it's super tight so i'm gonna try and find a shop to go over it and then tonight i need to decide what i'm wearing because we're wearing our mask and then a good fit so i'll sign that right now going to dindin look at our little necklace chain look at jen's beads we got them on. We're just matching for the. We're just matching for the, for the um, dinner outfit. But yeah, like, this is when dinner. we go out, we're gonna go mask and. Well, no. I won't spoil it. I won't spoil it. Actually, that, that's not spoil. We'll come back and change for you guys for our night fit. Also, because I'm wearing this, and if it's too cold, I'm changing my whole fit. So we're just gonna go to Dinda Din now and then eat and come back. Morning, guys. It's day three. Oh my gosh, that lighting just killed me. But look at the fit. I haven't decided if I'm going to wear these shorts because this top is just a lot. Like, it's a lot. But I caught it, so I need to wear it. But the shorts just don't go. Like, I wish I had black shorts. You know, it's a lot of skin. I think I'm just going to wear black jeans because it's a lot going on. But we're up. I literally caved last night. We came back just to re-up and I never woke up. Like, I was supposed to take a 10-minute nap, and I just never woke up. And my voice is hoarse. I don't know if that's because I'm screaming for, like, all my beads or what, but today's the biggest day for when we're here. The actual parade is Tuesday, but everyone's here for the Saturday. Look at my stack of beads. That's just half. And then I have this half. So I'm going to wear all of them today. And hopefully they look good. Jen's just in the bathroom now. Because we have to get fully ready. Then go for brunch. And then hit the street. So I'm about to do my full face, my hair, like everything. And then go get food. <laughs> I'm so tired. But you gotta rally. Today's the last full day. So we're gonna go hard. Like literally hand grenades in the room. Going crazy. <laughs> We're back from our stroll. The parades have already started. Look at that, there's horsies, so cute. But we're gonna go get into our fits now. Jen is gonna DIY this shirt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she already has her 
first year, but we decided we're changing for the night because we cannot stay in one outfit all day, duh. So let's get ready quickly and then we're heading right back out. Attempting to put on these face jewels. Let's see how this goes. Mm. The full look, honey. All the chains. Mardi Gras! <laughs> I'll eat by the traffic. Let's go. We're back in the room, and guys, New Orleans had a time. I got my phone stolen. Literally gone. Adios. Never seeing it again. Then I literally got in an elevator at our hotel and this other lady was like how her phone got stolen too. So there's just a spiral going on and I don't know. I'm really kind of unfazed because I was pre-warned. But I just didn't think it would be me. I really didn't think it would be me. But now we're back at the room. We're going to re-energize because today was just a whole day. And hopefully be turnt enough to party until sunrise. <laughs> It's the plan. But look at our view. Thank God the hotel is closed. This is to our last day in NOLA. We just changed the fits to our night fits. I put on my full face beads. I'm literally just on a vibe because I lost my phone. I can't even believe that happened to me. And we'll see what content I even get for this vlog because I don't think anything backed up from today at least. Hopefully, the past days were on Wi-Fi, so it backed up somewhere. But we'll see, because tomorrow we go home bright and early. And it's the Super Bowl! So exciting, trying to keep my spirits on the bright side, because <laughs> losing your phone is no joke. I'm literally an iPad girly right now, but we'll make it through, I guess. Yeah. don't mind my hair but that's a wrap guys on nola um nola one l2 zero because they ate me up like ate me up and spat me out i have to get a new phone now but whatever <laughs> my phone was old anyways i'm just kind of like is my videos from this vacation gonna be on my phone i really hope so because everything else i have backed up except for the videos on this vacation so we'll see how much content i actually get into this vlog but it is now 2 a.m we're back at the hotel and we're gonna leave uh like nine tomorrow because we need to hit the road before the parade starts because that's when they block off the whole road and we are on canal street which has every single parade route so we need to get out of here but i actually feel like three days i think in nola was definitely enough for me my hair has had it staying in a braid after this and i have no phone so for the rest of this vacation because we're going back to baton rouge tomorrow and then i leave tuesday so it's like two more days two more days before i go home and i have no phone so we'll see how that goes but today because it's 2 a.m today's the super bowl so we're heading back having a super bowl party or if we're not feeling it because we did k's of steps we're probably gonna just go to a bar, but I'm so excited for the Super Bowl in America. Okay, but it's been a very long day, so <laughs> I'll see you guys. It's the last day. As you can see, I'm a naked mole wrap because my eyelashes fell out in the shower, so I'm just gonna redo my false scara today, but it is the morning of the Super Bowl. So we're leaving now. Um, we tried to beat traffic, but as you can see, it's already crazy on the street. So Jen just went down to get her car and then we have to bring everything out of the room quickly because we have to check out by 11 o'clock and it is currently 10 o'clock right now. So I think we're on track. It's just how long it's going to take for us to get back to Baton Rouge. But yeah, that's the end of Mardi Gras, guys. We survived. My voice is raspy because I'm dead, but got to hurry and get ready to leave this hotel right now and then get some food and hit the road. Guys, we made it back to Jen's place. Yes. 
Yes, welcome. We're at Cedar. What is this called? We are in Zachary. Zachary. I don't know where I got Cedar from. But we are in Zachary. Her house is so cute. Look at this. It's so cozy. I literally am getting the American feel here, and I feel like I should move. I've said that every time, but it just really gives, like, I need to find somewhere else to live. Because this is key. But we're about to eat. We got what is called again? food and balls. Food and balls. Oh, so exciting. I'm about to try this, and then we're going to get stuff ready for the Super Bowl. Woo! Jen's hosting a Super Bowl party. It's my first, like, real Super Bowl party. So I'm so excited. But I'm in high spirits, even though I lost my phone. Got my iPad set up on the house Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. So we're about to survive the last two days and make them memorable. So you go ahead and cut yourself a piece. Oh, it looks very tender. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you cut it and then you dip it? Yeah, so I cut it, dip it, and then add like a, put your onion on there too. Oh my god, now I'm you really hungry. Onion? Now that I'm smelling this. So you just like, go ahead and put the onion on there. Okay. And then you just... Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm kind of scared for this jalapeno. Mm -hmm. So we're back at Blue's store to get these chicken wings because they were so good and we need them for our Super Bowl party. Chicken and fries secured at the American grocery store. Rouses, that's how you say it. Rouses. We're really Super Bowl party hosts doing our little grocery run for the Super Bowl. Proper hosts don't usually wait this late, but it's okay. <laughs> no, everyone's here. I feel like this is the vibe. Like, I wanted the full American experience, and now I'm immersed into it. Picked up some seasonings to go. When in the south. Then we got, what is this cake called? Oh, king cake. King cake and juices, and now we're going for some snacks. Got our spread. The dessert is to come, but we are right on time. This is a close-up of the king cake. That I'm so excited to try. Even if it's trash, I just feel like I need to say that I tried this king cake. And I hope I found the baby. <laughs> we just noticed that they come in flavors. Oh, huh. we big cherry. <laughs> what does that even mean? Because I don't, I don't see any filling. Then. It looks regular. It does look regular. Maybe and there's no regular flavor here. Well, like. the other ones that were different flavors were different color. Like it was different yeah, yeah, color yeah. on the box. So maybe it's an accident. Let's it's hope so. Let's we'll cut it we'll open. See. I'm going to cut it. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how that is. We're ready for the Super Bowl. Look at the spread by Chef Jen, our American girly. <laughs> we got the we got the fried chicken wings. Oh my gosh, you guys have to see this. Fried chicken wings, French fries, Papa John's pepperoni pizza. I'm so excited to try this. I've never had Papa John's. The reason it looks like that though, I find a lot of these places do this. You need to add extra sauce and extra cheese, extra toppings in general, because they're trying to, you know, they're trying to be cheap. Yeah. So always get extra sauce and extra pepper. You guys see it, the thickness. Then we got our chips and then the drink bar. We're ready. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna eat and then watch the game and wait for people to come. <laughs> A whole plate. Hey guys, so it's the night time. It's now. Let me check on my iPad because I have no phone. But it's actually later than I thought. It's 1.18 a.m. And the Super Bowl was so much fun that I didn't even vlog it. Like, we had the full spread and then Jen's friends came. And we all were just fangirling over Usher. Like, such a good halftime show. I can't even describe how good that show is and he left no crumbs like literally no crumbs he ate that up all the guest appearances were just like chef's kiss like usher made the super bowl because i don't really care who won but i really wanted 
the 49ers to win and they didn't so that was a little sad but whatever go patrick i guess but tomorrow is my last full day here so we're back at jen's house in baton rouge so we're gonna try a bunch of seafood places tomorrow we basically just have that we're going for seafood boil which is the last thing i needed to try down here in the south other than that like i have ticked off every food item off my list and i just feel like all these trips are me doing bucket list items like i really feel so accomplished on my vacation but i'm so tired my voice is tired like it's been days of non-stop yelling screeching screaming like i'm exhausted i'm also running like five hours of sleep today don't even know how i did that so i'm gonna hit the hay and then i'll see you guys for my last day in the south sad times but it was fun while it lasted. <laughs> hey guys, so I'm at the airport now and I'm just waiting to board my flight. As always, I had to get my tea because it has been a time. I feel like I'm getting sick because the weather keeps changing here. Like it's hot and then it's cold. But it's not like cold cold, like Canada cold, but it's like chilly. Hence my bomber jacket. But I'm about to go home after my trip to the south like i feel very accomplished i tried every food i wanted to try went to mardi gras conquered mardi gras in a way but me losing my phone like it really dampened my mood like i would be so content like extremely content screaming the praises of new orleans if it wasn't for them stealing my phone but you live and learn like at this point my phone was even old so i'm not even that mad at it and the prices for the new iphone aren't as bad as i thought and i kind of needed to upgrade because i have no storage so like whatever like basically i'm getting new phone like it's okay i'm gonna get a new phone and life goes on but yeah honestly i'm happy i did this i'm happy i was able to see my friend um out here and her school and meet some of her friends like they were super cool but overall it was so fun and i really just experienced mardi gras like the two two three days -ish that we did it was more than enough like we got all the necklaces I could get, all the beads I could get, saw all the parades. Like, Mardi Gras is an experience, and everyone's like how Bourbon Street is where all the tourists goes and the locals go like other places. So, if I were to do it again, I probably would hit up the other places and not just Bourbon. But for it being my first time, Bourbon Street was peak. Like, everything was on the street itself, so it wasn't hard to get around. And our hotel was super close. So, love that for us. But anyways, I'm heading back home to Toronto and I'm happy because I need to get my life back together. But I hope I have enough footage for this vlog and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.